Hello and welcome back to survival mode. I was an absolute plonker last time. Do you want to know why? Well, you see, I farmed all that iron ore and put it into that cargo container and then proceeded to complain that I didn't have enough iron ore to build steel plates. Do you know why? Because I didn't build a refinery. So I just went and built a basic refinery and now the iron ore is being sorted. But I have run into a small problem of not enough power. So I'm going to have to rectify that before I can finish off this little plane. And that's just what I'm going to do today. Just sort out the power, build the plane, and go for a little test flight. And the sun is rising, which is great, because I'm going to be building solar panels. Ooh, how do I want to do this? So the sunlight is there. Do I want it laying down on the roof or not? That is the question. How much I'm... Um, that's going to be a bit of a problem, isn't it? I have to get rid of that. Might even have to tell the refinery to stop. Let's turn off the refinery. There we go. It's going to start building steel plates. But I need to get the power sorted because I want all that ore to be refined. You know what? It'll be fine. I just need some steel plates, some solar cells and some other stuff. Which I can probably just grab from right here. I don't know why I jumped down there. Should be nice and easy to get this up and running. I mean, that's kind of what they force you to go for in the beginning, is solar panels. I want some construction components. Oh, which I already have. Lovely jubbly. Constructions, computers, that. Hey! Not all the way up, but who needs it? Suit power is low. Hmm. Ah, oh, there's the cargo container, so that all can come out. And just sit in there. Oopsie, I always do that. My friends get so annoyed whenever I go near a cargo container because I will just dump everything everywhere, even if they can stack. So that's that, and that's that. So that should hopefully produce some kind of power when the sun gets up. I'm still thinking it should have been better being built up on its side. I'm sure it'll be fine though. So now it's time to build a battery. And I'm going to put the battery... Oh, that'll sit lovely there. Let's get that nice grey. Plop that. Oh, steel plate, of course. Let's take them out. Steel plate that. I might just colour them white. Just because it makes it... A little bit better than the standard grey. There we go. So it's getting there. It's getting there. It's basically once you've actually got something which can go out and mine stuff really fast, like pick up a load in a massive cargo container like that, and then you can just keep bringing it backwards and forwards rather than you yourself using a jetpack, going over to a deposit, picking up around about 8k, and then flying back. It speeds everything up so nicely. Then I'll finally be able to finish off this base, and then I can start building a spaceship, hydrogen ship, to go to space. I don't think, outside of using modded gameplay, I've ever built a proper hydrogen ship that has left the atmosphere successfully. I think they've always had some kind of modded thrusters on there as well. But it'll be interesting. So that means the solar panel's now there. It's getting a nice little bit of power in there. It's mainly for the actual battery itself to recharge. But that means I should be able to come over to the refinery and turn that back on. Ah, oh, fantastic. So it's taken quite a long time to wait for all those blocks to go, but it's near enough done. Some of the blocks are not fully completed, because I just can't be bothered to do that at the moment, and I have noticed one little problem with this ship. I have put the cargo container on backwards, and I'm quite hesitant at removing it, in case there are other blocks that might fall off because of it. So you can see there, I have a conveyor, which was meant to run along to here, which would have been the small hole, but I built it wrong. So that is what I'm going to attempt to do next and hope for the best. Also, as some of you pointed out that you can build off a small landing gear, but the reason why I didn't do that is because I can nudge this freely, so now I can access this wing and put the landing gear on without taking the whole thing off. Right, interior plates are ready. Let's go and build you, 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 you and you. That should be alright. I can't remember if I built an oxygen generator or anything like that on here. Luckily these are nice and cheap to build. 
three resources per one. So now I guess it is the moment of truth. Will this thing fly? I have very little hope this is actually going to work. I'm just gonna remove these. So here we go, hopping in. Power seems to be relatively fine. I can move. Can it land? Yes, it can land. And I'm off the ground. The cargo container is a little bit iffy. If I could hop out of here and take a proper look at that. Just crouch. It is a little bit close to the ground. But it'll do, right? It'll do. As long as I can go to here and drop that. No, I can't drop that in there, apparently. I do have those blocks there to fix. And the batteries seem to be dead. Why are the batteries dead? Ah, should be alright. Well, I guess now it's time to take this for a little fly around. Seems to be okay. How are the solar panels doing? What's it stopping power? Bit slow on the stopping. Turning is actually quite meaty. I quite like the turning on this ship. I can go up. I can go down. I think this is a pretty good job at a ship. It flies. That's what I'm happy about. I'll go to the ore deposit. I shall land there, hopefully successfully. And then... I shall end this video and name it next week. I mean, it seems to be okay. I think everything is connected up. Because I'm connected to the cockpit. That's connected to that. Did I have an O2 generator on here? I uh, can't remember if it's an O. Nope. So I will, will need to put some kind of life support on here. Can't actually remember where the vehicle is. I don't think I'll be able to lift it with this. But luckily, because of those solar panels, I'll simply have to park it somewhere and let the batteries recharge. Although the batteries don't seem to be doing anything. I think the batteries are just dead. Also, I suppose they are just like recharging themselves, aren't they? I can't remember. It would be nice if they had the lights on them. Let's go fly over here. I mean... Can I go left and right? Yes, so I should be able to do this. A risky manoeuvre for a lot of resources in this ship. There we go. It actually went really well. Quite happy with this. Might make a blueprint. Is Actually, that's another thing I didn't check. Yep, everything seems to be working well. Five minutes of power. I'm not sure how well it's going to fly with resources in there. Perhaps that'll be the start of the next video. Attempting to lift off with a full cargo container. Because, yeah, I think the large cargo container can hold quite a lot. Compared to me, at least. So here I am at the mine entrance. It's nothing fancy. I just land myself with my butt facing the entrance. And I have landed. Great. So that is it for this video. The plane actually flies. But will it be able to fly with a ton of weight in it? You'll have to find out next time. So thank you all for watching. And I'll be back with another survival video some point soon and that I think that's stone from last time that I just dumped on the ground it is no I don't want stone yes anyway bye bye <laughs>